The request lines are open. Another action-packed buy request video. Oh, you got to know what's happening right now. Hey there, it's Jeff, the radio DJ dude. We got to jump right into it because my broadcasting buddy Baldrick was really feeling some playlist pain in New Zealand. He was trying to figure out a way to load up some tracks from a category in a playlist. And if you know anything about Radio DJ, it's not possible. You've got to load specific tracks in a playlist. And aside from that, he was having issues with overlay files not stopping the audio that was playing under him. Well, Baldrick, I feel your radio pain. And let's provide some healing right now. We are on the air. So the call first went out on the Radio DJ forum, and Baldrick writes, I ultimately want to be able to build a short playlist consisting of a music bed with a selection of voiceovers for Radio DJ to choose from to overlap the bed. I can build a playlist that works with a bed and a pre-selected single voiceover track with works as expected. However, there's no way to currently add a category to a playlist, so he needs to figure out a way to make an event to include all those items. But one of his problems with the first option, there's a dead air gap between between the last song and the playlist kicking in. That's true when you just try to use manual events by themselves in a rotation. Not always a smooth experience. And I did make a video about this on how to tame the dead air you get from a manual event. Check it right up here. So that's part one of his problem. And let's jump into Radio DJ and see if we can not tackle this. I think you know where this is going. Of course we can. So to keep this trucking along, I've pre-built an event that mimics what Baldrick's looking to pull off. So as you know, events load from the top down. So let's start with what'll show up first in our playlist. We have a music bed, which then triggers a voiceover track, which then will trigger another bed and yet another voiceover track. And once this finishes, we'll move on with a station jingle. Keep in mind, what Baldrick was trying to do is find a way to run two separate elements at the top of his hour that both would pull a music bed from a category to then play back a voiceover from a category, which means you'll be able to rotate. It's not the same voiceover every time, which gives you much more variety on the air because it's a different voice track every time. Okay, so that's how we set up that action, which once again is not a possibility in a playlist. You can only add specific tracks. Hopefully we're all on the same radio page there. Okay, let's save this it's called bed test and then just to test this out. Give it a click, whammo bammo, and it loads up. So popping back to Playlist Builder, we could add this event to the playlist. And I think Baldrick tried that. But the big problem when you add an event to a playlist or a rotation, it ignores the next start cue point in the track before it and only triggers when it hits the end of the file. It's very frustrating. And it definitely does not lend itself to a smooth, tight playback experience. So a while back, I offered a fix to this manual event lag problem. And it really is as simple as using a silent dummy file. The short story is you upload a very short silent audio file to Radio DJ. It could be an eighth of a second, it could be a second, whatever you want. It's just silence. But where the magic lies in the Others tab on the Track Edit window, you set the start event to the event you want to trigger the moment the silent file is triggered. So, bed test. That's our event we created. Save that. Ignore the name. Back in Playlist Builder, let's find that element, which is trigger 80's word. Boom. But instead of me running my gums, let me let you put your ears on the problem. For example, ABC's Look of Love. So the next start is right at the end. I mean, it, that's tight. And so it's a cold ending song and it's right there, right on that last kind of reverb hit, which makes for a great transition. No dead air, goes right to the next element. Compared to where the in cue is, let's move the in cue down the line a bit. So we have about a second or two of silence. Save that. And I'm moving that in cue point so you can hear the difference between loading a raw event in a playlist or doing it this way using the dummy file. Okay, so let's build this playlist. Look alive. Let's add the event. Bed test. And then for comparison, we'll add the same look alive 
And we'll slide in the super sneaky dummy silent file trick. Okay, there we go. Save it. And now let's kick this baby into gear. Bodacious. Oh, that is painful. You could drive a Mack truck through that gorge of silence. So you'd never hear that on my ear. Too sloppy. So let's blow out these elements from the event and trigger the dummy method, which is oh so smart. Radical. Oh, infinitely better. So that's the power of using this dummy silent file to trigger an event. And like I said, you can do this in a playlist or a rotation. So I think we could stamp part one of his problem solved. But we're not popping a top just yet. There's more work to be done. Let's cue up part two of the problem. The second voiceover and music bed combo isn't behaving. The beauty of an overlay file is once it finishes playing, the background audio stops. So in his case, he had weather voiceover playing over a weather bed. And when that weather voiceover ended, it triggered the next event, but that bed kept playing. There's no way to stop it. It's a runaway train wreck. This has plagued me in the past too. I was never able to drill down and find a reason why some overlay files don't stop the audio in the background that they're playing over. Not until today, that is. So, Baldrick, buckle up. To mimic what he's trying to pull off, if you look at my playlist, I have a weather bed and a fake 80s theme weather forecast. And once that voice track is done, it'll trigger T's bed five, and that'll cue an 80s words segment. And then we'll finish up this playlist with a jingle. But your job, take a listen to T's Bed 5 after the 80s word voice track finishes. Okay, get your number two pencil out. You will be tested. Let's go. Weather. Throw open a window and roll out your yoga mat. The weather is perfect for getting Rick rolled. Just make sure to stretch your groin first. It's what Rick Astley would want. Heading over to the totally tubular Doppler 8000 and it looks like these temps are together forever. In the 80s, baby. Bodacious. It's a mix of bold and audacious. This funky term hibernated for years until CB radios brought it back in the groovy 70s, making it the go-to expression for a strong signal. Then in 1989, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure catapulted bodacious to stardom. Ted, you and I have witnessed many things, but nothing as bodacious as what just happened. Triple X. Triple X. 80s. 80s. Slight issue there with the double station liners. But anyway, that's not the point. You see that? Those dancing levels? You hear that music bed? Long after the voice track finished and triggered the next element, it should have killed that bed. But that's a zombie bed. It's not dying. There's no killing it until it's ready to lay down. And that just sounds horrible. And that has tripped me up in the past, too. And I always thought it had to do with the overlay file before it. I thought there was something that I wasn't doing right and setting up the cue points or uh, the track type. And what was a head scratcher, some music beds would play just fine. Like out of the weather bed that you first heard, once the weather report was done, it beautifully transitioned to the next tease bed, tease bed five, and the weather bed stopped playing as it should. This is the solution. By dumb luck, when I opened up tease bed five in the cue editor, something very peculiar jumped out. Look at the next start point. It's at zero. If we zoom in, well, we know it's not right at zero. It's not humping the start point. No, there is a little gap, but not enough. Your next start cue point on any bed that you're hoping to trigger a voiceover that's an overlay file needs to be a minimum of one second. Look at that. I barely nudged the next start point, but it's enough to get us back on the tracks and sounding sexy. I don't know. Shut up and let's put this into play. Let's load up the same Delia, we'll give you a new weather forecast. T's bed five, we've altered that endpoint. For our second voice over file, which, just so you know, is an overlay file, it's variable duration. This is a segment from our AI Valley Girl, the 80s cheesy trivia segment. So let's pop this in and then we'll lock it out with a jingle. Let's see if this medicine cures the problem. Weather. 
The National Fake Weather Service just issued a white snake weather warning for anyone rocking big 80s hair. Gusty conditions could cause some 80s lovers to topple over. Strap a net over that do and crank up your air guitars as we flip on the totally tubular Doppler 8000, which is forecasting highs in the 80s. Oh, real tough. What Star Wars movie was the first to be released in the 1980s? And that totally awesome answer is... Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Triple X 80s. Shh. You hear that? <laughs> you don't. There's nothing. That music bed stopped. All because we changed the next start point. This was a huge revelation for me. So your next start point, minimum of one second for it to play nice with your other tracks. And over in the Playlist Builder, what did we learn today, kids? We learned you don't add an event the old school way. You can if you'd like to give your listeners some uh, meditative time <laughs> to enjoy the silence. But no, we use those dummy files to trigger events on their own. And that's how you're able to choose tracks from a category in a playlist, which you can't do in the Playlist Builder by itself because you can only choose specific tracks to bring into your playlist, right? So that totally expands your options when you're building playlists. And it actually makes it more like a rotation because, as you know, in rotations, you really can't add specific tracks, yet you can add tracks from categories. So if we wanted those voice tracks, the 80s trivia, that works brilliantly. And that's the real difference between a rotation and a playlist. But now you could have it all in the playlist builder. Okay, let's hop back over to the radio DJ form and give Baldrick the last word. What do you think, buddy? Woo! Okay, woohoo, we'll take it. So this case solved. Success! Good old Baldrick in New Zealand and a happy radio camper. You got to keep those New Zealanders happy because they wield a pretty mean crowbar. So the moral of this story, if you've got a question, if you've got a head scratcher, well, throw it down here in the comments and good old uh, radio DJ dude will take a crack at it. This is what I live for. Night and day, I'm waiting at the help center just for you. So if you got any value out of this, even 4% value, please hit like and subscribe. And I definitely look forward to the next time we can have one of these touching one-on-one -on -one by request moments. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and most important, you know where this is going, keep rocking those mics all over the world. <laughs>